here um you can see more pictures oh she's got a fella or oh, this one's looking for a threesome i think she is what's good everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl abs iggy and today i'm going to be talking about listen different dating apps because look you know there's so many out there and some people might be wondering what's the best dating apps to go on to if you're trying to look for someone or whether you're trying to network or socialize whatever it might be whatever your intentions are there's so many out there so i'm just gonna be reviewing some of the ones that i've tried and i've been on and what i think about all of them so yeah man let's just get straight into this one Okay, cool. So I'm going to be putting up a screen recorder for you to show you exactly on my phone how to use some of the dating apps that um, I have and look at some of their features and what I find to be useful and, you know, uh, some of the apps where I've had kind of most success on, should I say. Um, cool. So first one we're going to start with is... So number one we are going to start with is Hinge. All right, so let's go into this app. Now... Before creating a profile, so I'm not properly on dating apps anymore. However, um, I've got all the profiles back up just to kind of show you some of the ones that I used to be on and that I used to kind of like. Now, now Hinge is annoying to start up because when I went onto it, they were asking me so many questions. Oh my God, just to create a profile, come like a job application. Ask me my height, my, my eye colour, my hair colour. Um, ask me, you know, my body type, how ambitious I am, how much I earn. I just think it's none of your business. Like, why you ask me so many questions? Please just create my profile. And if I speak to somebody that I want to talk to and we start connecting, they can know those things. But why are you forcing me to answer all of these questions? Um, so just be warned when you start up Hinge, that's what it's like. So cool. So here we are now. Um, hello, Emily. Um, so pretty much this is what happened. So here's my profile. Um, obviously that's not me, but, um, yeah, that's my name. I just kind of filled in anything right now to be honest. None of the information on here is accurate. So you've got your preferences. Now, if you go into your preferences, it kind of shows you, um, what you've kind of selected. So it says here, look, I'm interested in women. So you can set it to women, men, um, or everyone, you know, if you're a bit greedy out there. No, I'm joking. Um, obviously your location. There's this other little bit where it says member preferences. So, um... I don't know how you... I have to complete my profile. So I haven't completed it. So that's probably why I can't really show you these features on here. But uh, ethnicity. So you can choose what ethnicity you like. Which I think is good. Um, religion. Maximum distance. So yeah. Here man. Now ask me all of these. Like height. Um, politics. Smoking. Drinking. Marijuana. You know. Children. Family. I just think it's a lot. Like hinge man. Like please. It was a jarring start up. Anyways. Um, this little heart thing at the bottom. Um, people that like you. So... I mean, I don't know how this person likes me because, it's, I mean, it's just this guy. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then these are obviously your matches. So, yeah. So, basically, if you kind of see someone's profile, um, it kind of shows you. They have these little prompt questions that they've already answered, um, which I think is quite good because it allows you to kind of see somebody's personality, I think. Um, and they have information about them, like their age, their height, and where they are kind of located. Um, if you like them... Or like, you know, their pictures, you might heart it here, for example, and you might add a comment. Um, and if you don't, then you just press X at the bottom. OK, so um, when I was on Hinge, I didn't like it. I think I had the app for about a day. I just didn't find girls that on my type, to be honest. And I was getting tired of pressing the X, but my thumb was certain after a while. So um, to me, Hinge weren't really the thing for me. But I know a lot of people that have been successful in it and they love it. So, yeah, cool. Right. Let's go to the next one. Next one, Tinder. Oh, Tinder. Listen, so Tinder now, this was pretty simple setting up. They didn't ask me to fill out my whole life history and my whole future plan. So that was good. It's pretty much simple. You know, I think Tinder is super popular. Left if you don't like someone and right if you do. Do you know what I mean? Oh, how is this? A oh, dear. I What? OK. Wait, what? My Let me show you my profile because I'm a bit confused. I don't get how you can like this. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but um, if you go into settings as well, um, you can set your current location. You can set the distance. And here again, you show who you want. So women, men or everyone. Um, age range, which is pretty good. So if you want a specific age range, you know, if you don't want to young things um, or you like some old things, yeah, you can kind of set it, which I think is good. 
um and you should be able to do that on most dating apps anyways um yeah and just all this other hoo-ha that we don't really need to get into um but yeah man if you want to see someone's profile pictures a bit more you kind of tap them and then you just tap across to kind of see a range of their pictures um i always found it annoying though on tinder um people that post a lot of pictures with their friends it's just a bit jarring or they have their first picture with their friends because you're thinking which one are you um i think it's an insecurity thing if i'm being completely honest like show your face first not your picture of your friends because i'm thinking yeah, i like your friend not you and then i see the other pictures and it's like oh it's you yeah the one that i didn't want um so yeah and also i think the blue tick means you're verified on here people connect it to their instagram which is pretty good so you know if you're on that stalking vibe and that yeah go on to their instagram look it says connect here so you can press the button and go straight into their profile um let me accept it oh well you gotta kind of continue through facebook but you get the drift so if you're someone that loves stalking then crack on um tinder to me when i use it personally i just saw it as a smashing app i'm not gonna lie i don't think i ever met anyone in there that was serious i don't think when i went on there i took myself serious in that sense um it to me was a quick hookup however i have met people that have met the love of their lives and have been in relationships for a long time on tinder so um hey you know there's a small percentage of people that are genuinely out there looking to find someone to find some love and the majority of us that go on tinder i think just want a quick shag you know what i mean so yeah that's tinder for you right let's go to bumble now i'm not gonna lie out of all the apps dating apps i think bumble's the best now some people are thinking what the hell is bumble well i'm gonna show you um reason being is i find that with bumble this app has been an app that i have met the most normal people on i've definitely had a few girlfriends off of this and you know what i mean so um bumble's cool let me just show you the layout so you create a profile let me go to my profile bottom left okay um and you can tap to edit your profile so yeah i've got my cookie dough up there because i love cookie dough um so obviously verify account so you have questions so you can kind of have you know like i said these prompt questions are pretty cool because it kind of shows off your personality and stuff so you can add a question they give you like templates here so i quote too much from blah 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 if i could have a superpower i'd be it would be blah blah, blah. So, i mean all cheesy stuff to be honest. i never feel like this stuff just because um it's cringy for me however um you know each to their own um you have a little description where you can fill yourself we can fill you about me self out add your job education so there's a lot going on here but unlike him they didn't force me to answer these questions before i got started you know what i mean that's what i like like i don't feel like this stuff because it's just long like why do you need to know if i've got pets that's like, none of your business do you know what i mean um so you talk to me then you'll find this stuff out but yeah and you can add you know, as many pictures as you like i guess um so similar format again this one if you kind of want to see someone's profile you kind of um move your screen up um it kind of shows a bit of information about them so they don't smoke whether they have cats and whatever as it says here um you can see more pictures oh she's got a fella or oh, this one's looking for a threesome i think she is i think you are sienna um <laughs> and if you don't like them to the left and if you do like them to the right so um i don't know how i'm matching these people um yeah no didn't mean to do that i don't even know who i've just matched what the hell yeah so basically let me go back and show you that the bottom right with this little bubble mark question mark thing is it kind of shows who you've matched with so it kind of starts building up a match queue i guess so the number here where it says 14 i guess that's people that have liked me and i guess i just matched with someone called Borti. Um, but if you want to check their profile again, you can do. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like I like Bumble. I think it's it's the most genuine app for me personally. You can sh go to your settings, and yeah, you can see who you're interested in: women, men, everyone. You can set the age range, which is pretty cool. Um, don't know if I'd go for an eight year old though. Um, and then you got advanced filters, so verified profiles only which i think is good because it filters out all the weirdos or well actually to be fair people can easily verify their accounts but there's a bit more going on to it so now let's go into badu top right now probably thinking what the hell is badu been seeing this advertised all over instagram 
this was the first dating app I got ever where I met my first bird on here. Um, it, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. So again, you go to your profile. Um, popularity very high. Okay, thank you. Like I said, none of these settings are. Only my name is correct. Um, you can add more photos here from your photo album or Instagram. Um, so if you go to the left of that, this is kind of like kind of like where it goes into more Tinder vibe. So you can have a heart or X them. Um, if you want to see more about the person, you just kind of scroll up. So it shows they're single, they're straight, non-smoker, six one. My brother's Polish. Um, so it's probably showing me men because I haven't set the settings to women only and stuff. Um, so if you like, then you swipe right. So let's or you heart it. Let's heart it. Um, oh, he likes me back. Thank you, mate. <laughs> by the way, by the way, just some of you thinking, right? Like men like you. Yeah, men like me. Why not? Look at this. Look at me. Um, so. Yeah, and if you don't like them, you just X. If you like them, swipe to the right. Oh, it's a match. Matching all these men then. Um, and again to the left and then to the right. Oh, <laughs> I'm lucky girl. Just matching everyone, aren't I? Yeah, so you can go to the left, bottom left. You've got um, your messages. So it says 99 plus people like me. I just got this yesterday. So you know what? Yeah, that is crazy. And I've got messages already from these guys because for me, yeah. I just imagine like if I was like a girly girl like proper on it yeah it could be overwhelming um yeah I mean I don't want to ex expose anyone here in a relationship actually let's just open one message let's see hi Fabio let's have a look here hi how engaging let's see Collins hi abs Ooh. another one hi hi natural beauty really cute smile <laughs> what my mum says <laughs> but let's see how we can um, set these preferences because oh here we go so if you go top right i'm interested in men women both age range and stuff like that like i said obviously it says men so i, I was just doing a quick thing i haven't really this isn't really mine but yeah cool so but do um not too bad not too bad as an app um i think it's a bit different when you're a girl looking for girls it can get a little more quiet. Our men are just a bit more um, savage, let's just say. They'll be on it a lot more. Cool. So next app we're going to go to now. These two, her and Zoe, we're going to look at are definitely a lot more um, targeted towards lesbians. Uh, again, this is what it looks like. So you can set your age, requirements, distance, whatever you need, your kind of identity and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, again, press this little arrow, it shows you a bit more about them, so people like to fill it out, each their own, like I said, everyone's got a preference, I can't be asked because I'm lazy, I just think message me and we'll get chatting, if you want to see more of their profile, tap towards the right, and that's what you got to be honest, um, you got this kind of meet me uh, section, so again, go left, 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 you can swipe right, you can go left, you can swipe right, you can go left, whatever your preference is, um, this shows who liked you, so, um, yeah, these are the people that have liked me. I guess if you click into someone, uh, they're going to they're try to take my money. No, I'll never pay for a dating app. So, yeah, somebody's popular. <laughs> but, yeah, and then chats here. So, you know, um, I guess this is from the admin team and stuff like that. Um, so, I guess if you match with someone, you can say hi. Um, I don't think they can just message you. That's from my understanding of it. Maybe, maybe not, but I don't, I don't think they can. Um, this is your notification, this little bell, so it says this person likes you, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then here you've got your feed, which is loading. And you've got feed community and events, which is pretty cool, actually. I think that's quite good, actually, this event thing. Um, I guess it shows you what's going on. Let's click into one of them. Okay, yeah, so that's good people in the community. Um, you can get see what's going on basically, which is cool. Um, but I never used to like her as an app. I just thought it was kind of dead. Now, let's look at Zoe. So again, this is for lesbians, which is pretty good. So similar setup. Swipe left if you're not interested. 
okay and swipe right if you are don't know why i keep matching anyways keep swiping if you want to see more of the pictures you tap right okay um and that's pretty simple the hearts are people who like you i can't see them because if i click into it it's going to try and get me to pay which i'll never pay for a dating app um so my profile so i haven't really completed it and the bell is just your notifications and then i guess these are showing you your matches and i guess people then once you've matched you can write and message somebody um which is pretty simple oh let me go back into it um which is pretty simple to me this pretty yeah pretty simple bottom right okay so you can kind of set your age um distance wise and i guess device location okay cool yeah so this app is for um women which is pretty good you have your personal information here um and i guess you can't really set your preferences because it is for lesbians so if you're a weird man on here get off right last one i'm gonna go on is puff now i used to use puff back in the day but when i went on it yesterday puff has come like a, a social media app in itself it's proper changed i was so shocked so what i used to love about puff is that you can set your your preference in terms of ethnicity and the type of women you want to meet yeah and i know you can do that on some apps as well that's what i used to love so let's just start here here you've got the meet me so again you can x you can you can swipe right you can swipe right whatever you can x whatever okay you can you can look at their profile a bit more so you can go into it um see what they're about a little bit you know see more pictures if they uploaded it um all good and you can you can press the green if you like them or not okay now this like you you have to pay and here's your mutual oh, okay oh, this is my mutual nice so now this bit the bit next to it at the bottom so this is what i loved about it so when you go into the search right this is what I, I like. You go to a fine search and this section here where it says your ethnicity, you can choose. So I've highlighted black and, and mixed race, right? Just, you know, because you go find my match and it just shows you, do you know what I mean? Which I think is sick. Like, I, I like that. That's what I like about this app, yeah? And you can just click into someone a bit more, see what they're about. Cool. Yeah, and you can refine it again. So you might change ethnicity. I'm going to go with just Hispanic, yeah? see what hispanic things come up yeah and, and that's it do you know what i mean so that's that's what i like you know you just click into someone cool if you like you can like them the only thing i don't like is that you can send them a message straight away without kind of matching i think you should allow people to match before they can send you a message because then you'll just be bombarded with weirdos and stupidness so that's cool we come out of this now we got this live thing. I'm thinking, what's live? Like, why is that dating up? Why are you going live? So let's click someone. Yeah. I'm joining the stream. Like, what's going on? Who is this and why is it live? It is a dating app. So I guess it comes like an Instagram live, isn't it? Let's see someone else. Um... Let's view all live people. Raw boy, this is mad. So some people just got bare eyes on them. I guess you can say something. Let's write something. Hello. Oh, my message come up. This is mad, you know. Puff never used to have this. What's this plus do? Heart. Oh, I'm saying... You said my name. Yo, that's why's my heart beating? Anyways, I don't want to go live. Let's go back to this now. So that's a bit mad. And this is, I guess, who viewed my profile. This is who's nearby, which is good. My matches, my likes, recommended. Thanks, thanks, Poff, for the recommendation. That's cool. Go to the next one now. I've just seen a lot more. So if you look at the top, you've got trending nearby, date, new favorites, leaderboards. Like, why is there a leaderboard? I don't understand. This is a dating app. It's a bit mad still, but um, yeah, man, this is confusing. Like, let's see what's who's trending. So we got, I guess these are popular people. You can become Poff famous. You can become Poff famous. This is a bit mad still. Let's let's go into someone else's live stream, yeah. 
she's got 34.4k hearts and over 5,000 eyes on her. Like, I don't know whether Poth just got bored during quarantine and whether, I don't even know when this has been updated and they thought, you know what, let's just make money on this, but yeah, it's a bit too much for me, man. This, you know what, this reminds me of TikTok, like when you first go on TikTok, if you're new to it, there's just too much going on. But yeah, man, look, these are my review of my apps and stuff like that, so let me know if any of you have ever been on them, um, what you think about them. Like I said, my personal favourite is Bumble. Puff has come like a social media app star. You can be famous on Puff now. Um, there's so many more to review, so I might do a part two on some unknown ones that aren't as popular as famous. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Mwah.